Hello everyone, it's Shama. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is going to be about some short story collections I have. Uh, as a beginner, short story is the best thing you can start from because uh, when you complete a short story, uh, you you would feel that accomplishment and that you that would make you feel read uh, even more. So you just have to choose your genre and there you go. Uh, so I don't have all the kind of short stories of every genre but uh, I can suggest you some uh, for every genre. So here we go with the first book. The first short story collection is from uh, our Indian author Ruskin Bond. So the book is called Time Stops at Shamli. Uh, basically, the time stops at Shamli is a novella uh, which is uh, longer than a short story and shorter than a novel. Uh, but it has other short stories too. And uh, I have read uh, I have read it uh, a couple of years back and I really loved it. There are some um, horror stories and there are some dark stories. So it's a mixture of all the short stories of Ruskin Bond. I really loved this book and I would highly suggest every one of you to read it. Uh, the second short story collection we have is from O. Henry. Uh, if you are someone who have passed their 12 from Odisha State Board, then you must be acquainted with O. Henry's stories uh, 20 years. Uh, these are the collections of O. Henry's other short stories and honestly I haven't read this book yet but I am going to read it soon but as far as I know O. Henry's stories these are those are very dark and very nice to read uh, so I would highly suggest you to read O. Henry if you are someone who is a classic reader so this is the book for you. Uh, so. If you are a reader, you must have come across Jhumpa Lahiri's namesake. But I have a short story collection who got a Pulitzer Prize. So this is the book, Interpreters of Malady. This book is also in my TBR of June and I have read three or four uh, chapters, uh, three or four stories from this book. And I am actually enjoying it a lot. Uh, the, these stories are very hooking and uh, i really love them so i hope you would enjoy it so there is a different fan base for indians uh, for malgudi days so the next suggestion is malgudi days by rk narayan malgudi days is a book uh, i have read uh, some of the stories from this book and i really enjoyed it it was a couple of years back and uh, it's about a town uh, which is called Malgudi and uh, the stories are uh, of the common and mundane people. Uh, if, uh, if you are uh, a millennial, you must come across Malgudi days on our television. Uh, so I'm not talking to the Gen Z's. Uh, so you would enjoy it if you are someone who loves commonplace uh, and mundane and monotonous things. So these are the stories of Malgudi days. The next book is from a writer who is very new to me. Uh, recently I have went to Bakul library which is in Satyanagar Bhubaneswar and there uh, I met this author called Satyarth Nayak and this was his uh, latest uh, publication. It's called Mahagatha. Uh, so these are the hundred stories of Purana. If you are someone who loves mythology, then you would fall in love with it. I have read just one chapter from it, but I really liked it. Uh, it tells the story of Brahman uh, from how our earth came to being. Uh, I really liked it and I am going to read it uh, very soon maybe. and. Uh, I am very sure that you would love the stories. Some of the stories you must have known and heard from your childhood and some of the stories that would be new to you and it would be a good ride uh, for you to go through our Hindu mythology uh, all over again. Those who really love uh, classic sto short stories and classic novels like me, uh, this is a suggestion from my side. 
it's 51 short stories great short stories uh, it has the writers like uh, edgar allan poe and uh, charles dickens and george kissing nathaniel hawthorne uh, and uh, leo tolstoy uh, this book i got it from the railway station when i was going to chindwada and i haven't started reading yet but uh, i hope i can start it soon uh, you in what is the best part about short story collection is that you can pick any story and complete it you don't have to read the whole book you don't have to go through each page uh, that's the best part about short, sto short story and uh, you can start reading this if you are someone who loves classic reads uh, to those who are a big fan of Franz Kafka, I have this collection for you. It's the greatest works of Franz Kafka. Uh, it, uh, it contains not just the novel of uh, the trial, but it has longer short stories and it has shorter short stories too. Uh, so you can choose any uh, part of the book and you can start reading it and you would understand it. and. Um, I haven't read it yet again uh, but uh, recently I have started liking short stories more than novels and uh, I hope I get time to read this book very soon. Next book I have in suggestion is the 50 greatest horror stories uh, of all time. Uh, I don't uh, have this book but uh, I have seen it on uh, Amazon. I would definitely buy it very soon and uh, I'm going to read it because I love uh, horror stories to read. Uh, I don't watch horror movies a lot but uh, I love to read them. Uh, so this is uh, horrors. Uh, if you are someone who likes horror genre then this book is for you. I hope you find your genre of short stories in this video. I'm glad that you found your way here. Uh, thank you so much for watching and like, share and subscribe to my channel. Bye.